Hello, my mossy friends. My name is Christine, aka Mossy Motham, and welcome back to my channel. Hello, how are you doing? I hope you're having an amazing day or night or whatever time zone you're in right now. As you can see, we have the new Halloween update. Because I am currently in an outfit, and I wish I had the pointy ears. So please let me know in the comments down below. Who am I? Who am I dressed up as? I am, I will give you a hint. I am actually someone from a movie, and hopefully it's not too hard to guess. It's one of my favorite movies of all time. So I wanted to first give my reaction to the new skin and hair style, or what is it? Eyes, skin, and hair. So I'm really excited for costume's sake that we have like to make a good vampire skin, maybe green can be like Frankenstein's monster or a good zombie, blue maybe genie, purple, ah, purple kind of looks good with this but I want to stay. But what I will say is I hope in a future update or something we have more darker skin tones because this is kind of sad and what I like, I mean, as a Caucasian person, I can't speak for everyone, but I want to have more inclusion in games that I play, and I want everyone to feel like they can make their character look as much as they can like themselves. Like, obviously it's a video game, I'm not going to look exactly like this, you know? But I just wish that I feel represented, and I wish that everyone could. Like, these are just tan, and then arguably these last three are actual like darker skin tones so I hope in the future like I know I love The Sims 4 and there's been a whole like really big thing going on in the community where people have been saying like look this game came out in 2014 and we still don't have fixed skin tones for darker skins so I just wish like oh my gosh I love like Halloween it's my favorite holiday and this is awesome, but I can only imagine as like a darker skin tone person, it's kind of a slap in the face saying, oh, like cool, I can be purple, but I can't look like I do in real life. But moving on, I love these funky colors of hair. Oh my gosh, like, ah, I'm probably gonna keep this purple, at least for my costume today because it matches, but I think I definitely want to mess around with like my everyday walking around. Like I, I currently have this one, but uh, I used to in high school have uh, really funky hair colors. I've had this teal color, I've had different shades of blue, I did purple, and I've done red before. But for today, we'll do that. Is there any new hairstyles? I don't... I think I see anything. I think I've already had all of these. Give me back my curls, please. Eyes. Ooh. I'm gonna go with yellow because I'll match my character. But oh my gosh. Because we only had the top row, right? Before this update. These colors look pretty similar. Nice purple. This has given me so many ideas for different costumes. Mouths are the same, cheeks are the same. Alright. Awesome. Ooh, get a little pose. So something that I also really love about this update, I mean, obviously, pumpkins. Look at this. And something I didn't realize at first, maybe that's just me because I didn't want to look too deep into it, but these take three days to grow and if you water them every day for those three days, you'll get three pumpkins, which, duh, makes sense, but like, I watered some and then forgot about them and you have some one patches and you have some two patches. I thought it was random, but it's like actually showing that if you put time into it, you'll get more rewards out of it. And to show you like why I didn't really care and I watered them before and kind of gave up was uh, 
I have all of these. <laughs> I'm ready to go crafting, but real quick, I'm just going to harvest these because I'm not exactly sure. I know some of- I don't have all of the- the spooky DIYs. I've been playing for a few days before I recorded this, just I wanted to, you know, get used to things a little bit more, but... So uh, yeah, I don't have all of them, but I think there's not that many that I'm still missing, but... Some of- like, that one takes ten, and I know once it's actually Halloween you can unlock like the uh, pumpkin carriage and a few other different DIYs and I know some of them require a lot so that's why I've been hoarding all of the pumpkins and also I just like to hoard <laughs> so let's quickly pick all these I oh, know this is not my one patch trust me I have like two or three scattered everywhere so <laughs> and what I do like and I find it interesting, because at first I was like, oh my gosh, I'm getting so many orange pumpkins, this is really annoying, but all of the DIYs actually, in order to craft, take orange pumpkins. The other color is just for customization. So as long as you craft the item with the orange pumpkins, you don't need that many to customize. Unless, you know, you're going for a whole white theme or whatever. Because at first I was thinking like, okay, so if this one DIY takes 10 pumpkins, it's going to be 10 pumpkins of whatever color you want, so why am I getting so many oranges? But it's actually all of them you craft into orange and then you can customize if you, if you want to change it. Wow, I talk way too fast for my mouth. And also, in case, you know, you missed my previous videos or not really caught up, but I have a third character I added. We have Jakey! Oh, and also in the following video, you might, you know, notice that someone's missing and there might be an open plot, so maybe we might go villager hunting soon. But yeah, Jakey is actually the name of my dog and I've been missing him he because of you know quarantine and everything going on he's with my mom and I've been staying with Elijah and his family so I miss my dog and I love him so much and I was like hey why not add him to Animal Crossing so I'm currently working on building up his house also, I mean, I wanted, I was kind of thinking about getting a third character because honestly I was running out of storage and I love to decorate houses. It's probably my favorite part of Animal Crossing is just like putting the furniture everywhere and they have a lot of really cool wallpapers and flooring. So with only, what is there, like six rooms in total, there's, there's only so many things you can design with just one character and I've seen from other p videos or other island tours people do some really cool themes for their bonus villagers like they'll just there was one I watched where one of the extra characters was just a haunted mansion themed like they recreated the haunted mansion ride in their house obviously to the best of their ability with you know animal crossing not exactly having all the same items but some people do really creative things and i've been thinking i don't know what i want to do with these pumpkin patches after you know is this a weed oh no <laughs> After, you know, pumpkin season is over, I have a farm area that I'm definitely going to keep one row of the pumpkins, you know, not picked and just exactly like that. But I'm curious to see what Nintendo is going to do because they introduced farming. So for every season, are they thinking about doing other farming or are they just going to do pumpkins as their one shot for it? <laughs> I would love for, they call uh, it Harvest Festival in Animal Crossing, but I would love for like the Thanksgiving season that maybe we can grow 
corn and then craft new items with like corn or you know other another vegetable or something like that but I just think that's I really like the idea of growing and using those things to craft you know just like with flowers I love it it's cool because personally I just always kind of let my stuff like my flowers at least just grow wild <laughs> I mean right now I'm, I'm trying to you know get like a purple windflower and like certain ones but for the most part I just have all these extra flowers I need to get rid of them but instead of just selling them I just kind of let them grow so here is my little farm area and you can also see it in my first video actually on the channel where I showed off my farm it's in my island tour video so I added this strip here and I'm gonna pluck it now just because you know I, I need the resources for it but I'm probably just gonna leave this as decoration because of course I, I had like I got this custom uh, custom design for a pumpkin it's just a hat and that was before we actually could grow pumpkins so it's pretty neat So I did want to add, I'm not exactly sure where I want to have my spooky area because I'm thinking of putting these tables which are just showing off my wands collection. I'm thinking of putting these into Jakey's house, you know, the third character I added and maybe this can be my spooky area or once I'm done with my farming I can turn, obviously these will go away and I can make this into something. Let's check out my map real quick. I have by like Lopez and Poppy and like this area, there's my fountain underneath it, that diamond shaped. And then that square underneath it is actually my, and that whole like lawn area. And Elijah, you can like, when you're edi editing, you know, like circle that. So that, I did a video previously about my drive-in movie theater. So that space is used. And I have above pop, like this line here, above it leading up to the museum, I have my rainbow flower garden. But I could always do something next to where I have the empty plot, which used to be Dottie's. That I just kind of have some stuff thrown around so we can go visit that real quick and check it out. Or I can always do some stuff next to the nook shop because I just have some random flowers. So there's there's spots. Or even next to the Able Sisters I have. So I'll just have to come up with something and I might make that a video showing off on Halloween day. Because I'm so excited for it. I wish, you know, Halloween can really happen in, in 2020 but... To be safe, it's not. We're not gonna participate. So here is the drive-in movie theater area I was talking about. So I could always, like there's some space here maybe I can add some little filler stuff. And I really enjoy my rainbow flower garden, so I really don't wanna move it. But if I have some really good creative idea, I might possibly. And I wanted to come over here and kind of show this off. So as you can see, this is my empty plot where in my next video I'm going to be going villager hunting. So a little, you know, spoiler. But I might move this area like with a statue and instruments and stuff. I just kind of placed it to fill up space, but I might do something neat. My reason for running over here is I wanted to... This I had this idea after the island tour video, but I have some uh, Beatles playing instruments and our lead guitar, or our lead singer, <laughs> the turtle. And I call them the Beatles because, you know, I'm very creative like that. But, oh, excuse, you know, this right here. I was farming for some 
flies to donate to the museum. But <laughs> I had all these beetle models that I, I got from Flick and a whole bunch of extra instruments and we have the beetles. I even got one on the DJ. And I have an imposter, the cockroach. He, he's trying to blend in and pretend that he's really a beetle, but they don't know his secret yet. And I just got from the store, so I'll need to come up with someone else to play it. But I have a harp, which I love. It's so pretty, and just, I put it there temporarily. But I want it out, I'll move some stuff and maybe over here. So, yeah, thank you for tuning in. I just wanted to make this quick little video to have my first impressions of it. Or, because I, I know a lot of people have been making these kind of videos, reacting to the new update and everything. So I know I'm not the first, but... And of course, like I said, I was playing it for a few days before actually recording it. But I really like the update, and like I said, I just hope they keep on continuing this in the future. Like, Nintendo keeps this momentum going, instead of just being like, Hey, we spent all of this creativity on this one thing, and now, haha. <laughs> <laughs> we, we're not going to do good for anything else. So, it would be awesome if they can keep it up. So, thank you so much for watching, and I will hopefully see you in the next video. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like so I know what kind of content to do in the future. Comment, subscribe, do all those fun YouTube things that everyone asks about. And... Have a wonderful day. Bye!